All right, so we're still moving through, uh, we're looking at invertebrates and we're moving through the arthropod stations and you're now at the crustacean table. Crustaceans are one of my favorite groups of arthropods because if you look here, the members include the lobsters, the crabs, the crayfish, the shrimp, the barnacles, sow bugs, and pill bugs. About 30,000 different species of organisms. Uh, obviously, lobster and crab and shrimp being some of my favorites, but uh, maybe not because we're studying them, but more because I like to eat them. Anyway, let's take a second or two, and we're just going to look at two major groups, probably the two groups that you would come in contact with the most. <clears throat> the first one, excuse me, the first one is order Decapoda, and these are the lobsters, crayfish, crabs, and shrimp. Now, like the, like the arachnids, if you've been to the arachnid table, they, they have a cephalothorax and an abdomen, so they have two body sections. Um, they have two pair of antennas, although um, it can be difficult to see both pairs. They have five pairs of legs on the cephalothorax, and the first pair usually with a large claw. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention when we were doing when I was doing the arachnid video for you is that the, the legs are attached to the cephalothorax, they're not attached to the abdomen. So that's important both in the arachnids and, and here in the in the crustaceans and specifically the decapods that we're looking at right now. Now I added a little right here, I added a little uh, definition from dictionary.com. It says deca uh, combining form meaning ten used in the formation of a compound of compound words such as decapod and look here there we have a little mistake so we'll just put a I can't help myself put space in there and so the, the very name decapod is telling you ten and then poda or pod pod when we see that in science that stands for legs so arthropod Othro meaning jointed and pod meaning leg. So those are, we're looking at the jointed leg organisms, and now we're looking specifically at decapods, which are the ten leg organisms. So I, I think by learning what those words mean, it helps us to understand, you know, a little bit. So I can say decapod, and even if you can't call lobster up right away, maybe you can call up, oh, ten legs, what has ten legs? Those are the lobster, crayfish, crabs, and shrimp. So we'll just take a quick look here. I mean, these are things you should probably be pretty familiar with. We have a picture of a lobster and a shrimp and a, and a crab. Notice that we have modified legs in some of these. So we have one, two, three, four, five pairs. So we have ten legs total. But especially here on the blue crab, we see we have a modified leg in the front, which is now a claw. We have maybe a swimming leg in the back. Um, we have those claws in the front of the, of the lobster as well. Uh, what else here? So we have um, not, not much more to say, I think, here. You know, you, you have the cephalothorax and the abdomen. So if we look up here, we have the cephalothorax, and then we have the ab abdomen behind. So we're, we're looking at uh, a decapod, and whoo, we have the uh, lobster, crab, shrimp, Let's move on a little bit and go down and look at the other group that you're most likely to come in contact with, and that's the order Isopoda. Now, down here at the bottom, uh, again, I went to dictionary.com and did some research, and we, we find out that iso means same, and I really can't um, explain exactly why they use that. I think it's because they all have the same amount of legs. Uh, that's the best thing I can find researching on the Internet, and we see they have seven pairs of legs. Uh, one pair on each thor thoracic, and, and that's more than we really need to know. Um, but seven pairs of legs what, is, is what I wanted. What I want you to know: uh, two pairs of antenna. So if you think back to that lab we did earlier in the year, uh, hopefully you figured out two pairs of antenna and seven pairs of legs. They have a small. Um, the abdomen is small, uh, more or less fused. They have three segments, or what we call tagmata, but we, we're for our purposes, we'll just say three segments. They have a head, thorax, and abdomen. So a little different. Um, when we looked at arachnids, every every order had the head, the, the cephalothorax, and the abdomen. But we find here in um, crustacean, we have varying body segment numbers and stuff. So it's, it's kind of an interesting thing to think about. And then 
we'll throw up some pictures here uh, looking at the different some different isopods. Uh, the ones you're probably most, you know, pill bugs, cell bugs, roly polies. You know, you've seen that, we've seen that in class. I thought this was a great picture here. You could pause it and take some time to maybe try and count legs and see if you can find seven legs on each side. Uh, if you also, if you need to write some of that stuff down earlier in the video, you can always go back and pause as well. Now, just food for thought, I thought I'd throw in. There's a whole lot more I, um, crustaceans out there that we're not really talking about. We have a little picture here of a Daphnia. Um, which is a really tiny guy we need the microscope to see and then we have a picture here of a barnacle and the barnacle anatomy and this this one kills me because I, I look at it and I think wow how how is that a crustacean you know what, what makes that get in the same group as the rest of the crustaceans um, I know it, it might be interesting for you to go out and do some do some looking and see if you can figure out why uh, I know there's a juvenile stage, it's free swimming, and then when that juvenile stage finds a good place to attach that it thinks is going to be nice and wet, there's going to be plenty of food, it will cement itself to get to the to it and go through some metamorphosis and metamorphosis, and then uh, get you something that looks like this barnacle here. So anyway, and, and a neat thing to think about. Uh, I just wanted to send, maybe set you off on that search trying to figure out why is that barnacle that cements itself to the side of a ship in the same classification, same group as a, you know, a lobster or a crab. All right.